and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube for some more standard shakeup. We're going to be playing some mono white formation now. Uh, if you haven't seen the other standard shakeup videos, basically this is a, a best of one standard format that doesn't have any of these really annoying cards. So it's just a nice refreshing format. So what we're we're going to be playing a lot of it today. Our next deck that we're playing is the mono white formation deck, a deck that I've been playing a bunch over the last couple of weeks. Um, a deck I really like in standard, and I think it's kind of perfect for this event because there's no white cards that are banned, and Stone Coil Serpent isn't banned either. So this is pretty perfect for this event. Um, it is best of one. It go it's a very fast event. This is a very fast deck. We could lose two other aggro decks that have fast starts as well, but I think overall we're going to be doing really good. So I'm expecting this to be a really good deck. We're going to be playing like seven games, though. Maybe nine games if it goes really fast. Um, but, uh, yeah. I feel pretty good about this. What should you do with your channel points? You can, um, you can alter some of the emotes. Yeah, definitely not eight. I like, I like playing an odd number. I don't want to go, you know, four and four. Thank you, Socrates. Thank you. Oh no, mirror match. Hope they don't Legion's end. Of course, because we have Unbreakable Formation, we don't really want to trade. I guess I'm trading. Yeah. No healer's hawk? Yeah. Get in there with the hawk. Okay, so we just gotta draw land. And then we unbreakable formation, and the game ends. Just gotta draw land. Haven't done it yet, though. I'm representing 10 damage, but obviously they get to gain 2 life, though, with the Vampire of the Dire Moons. <laughs> Only put 2 lands in the deck. We did keep a 2 lander. Yay. That's got to be game, right? <clears throat> I guess if they had like a, something to give their Ajani Pride Mate lifelink, 
and just gain all the life and I just didn't have to attack with the serpent because it just attacked with the flyers. One and O. Oh. I haven't really thought the question is what are your thoughts on beloved princess for these kind of decks and my answer is I haven't really thought about beloved princess at all so it's a one mana one one lifelink and it also can't be blocked by creatures with power three or greater I don't think that's necessarily better than any of the cards that were any of the one drops that we're currently playing. Flying is an important keyword, especially with the with having the um, the two mana card. It gives them plus three plus three. This feels like this is a Chandra Tribal deck. Like a Flame Sweep deck. So I kind of want to keep Unbreakable Formation for Flame Sweep. Not just use it right here. But overall, that may not be great for me, a Flame Sweep deck. I want Stone Coral Serpent to be a 5 5. I guess Triumph still kills a 5 5, though. Yeah, so like Blood Princess, yeah, could get blocked by a Cauldron Familiar and stuff. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I really like, like it too much. Are kind of expecting Big Chandra. Like Big Chandra minus three. That's not Big Chandra. I knew you needed my help. Why'd they play the land first? Well they didn't hit a land drop, but so they probably have another Chandra's triumph. Yeah, I'd kill that thing now. Need to be taking up first. They could have just hit another Chandra, like a Chandra six or something else.
I have a lot of looks towards the sweeper, but I think I just have to hope they don't hit one and just play out my hand. Just put the pressure on them this turn. I really wish I could just play that and then hold up unbreakable formation, but obviously I can't. And I don't think that just playing the 1-2 and then holding up on formation is good enough. Hmm. So I get to kill three things. Ooh. <laughs> is it just me, or is it getting a little warm in here? It's a little risky. They could have minus one Chandra and copied it and killed two things, but then their Chandra would would be would die to my other thing. But they still have the four mana Chandra and the regulator. Oh, <laughs> do no. Uh, we won. Right. Two and O. Oh. That was a really good close game. Hey, you just won. GG's. You went a little risky there that last turn to give me the emblems instead of killing two things with a minus one. All right, would I rather keep... I'm going to keep just one of the one drops. So I'm going to have like one drop into Raise the Alarm into Luxodon with a formation. I guess we'd keep Law Rune Enforcer if we're just keeping one of those. Man, drawing a land would be so good. Be able to go Executioner plus Luxodon. Come on, land. No. Still not bad, though. Yeah, water enforcers. <clears throat> Just tap those things. They're pretty dead. Attacking for 10 there. Yeah. Yeah, there's only 19 lands in the deck. Does not play very many. So we don't always hit our third land drop. But it keeps us from, like, you know, drawing five lands. Which we really don't want. Yeah, three, three lands is basically the ideal number to hit. The rally wing's not looking great. Ooh, Drowned Secrets. You see, like, this fourth... Once you start getting, like, four lands, you're like, what, what is this extra land doing over here? I don't need this. So 
So this looks like an Arc White Phoenix deck. Hmm. Three, five, six, seven. There's a Phoenix. Saving the tap here to to tap Phoenix. Basically saving it like for this turn, like where I can tap. You know, I could have tapped before blockers, um, but then you know, like they still have the one one there. I want to try to tap all the blockers here and then have the loyal Pegasus and the Rally of Wings, because you know we can tap three blockers now for this next turn. But you know, if they have more Phoenixes or uh, Amoebas, they do not. Oro. That deck wants to play against slower decks, that Drown Secrets deck. It does not want to play against the really fast decks like that. All right, Matthew. Yeah, yeah, definitely do that. Get, get that nap. Yep. Happy New Year. I'll see you tomorrow. Hey, Zeeg. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what I'm super excited about with the new set. I never get to, I know, during, like, these preview seasons, for the most part, other people probably spend more time looking at the cards and thinking about them a lot more than I do, because I'm still, you know, putting together, you know, decks for, you know, I'm still just playing Magic every day, put, play, putting decks together for this stuff, so I, I don't get to really, you know... I, I do look at, like, the new cards, but I don't get to really, like, soak them in and, um, you know, think about new decks with them and all that kind of stuff too much. Get him, Serpent. So next turn, I could play, like, Fairy Guide Mother and Luxodon and then untap my creatures after Luxodon and then attack. This is a nice little combo here. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that you get the green-white temple. And I'm hoping that Selesnya gets some more cool cards. Because, you know, like, Selesnya is my favorite color combination, and so I've really miss not not having the Selesnya Temple. Temple of Plenty. If I remember correctly from my Theros days. That's it. Nice. Bonjou, happy new year. Yeah, I do yeah, I do a set review. Um you know, like after all the cards are revealed, I'll be doing a set review. All right, I'm giving the Stone Coral Serpent flying because it has trample. So I'm giving it flying, not the Luxodon.
besides that, I, I have been planning on, on writing about the new cards a lot over on my Patreon, but I've just been so busy this week. But I'm certainly planning on, on doing that. You know, like today I can't, like, you know, the 12 hour stream. Do not have time to, and I've been, you know, just taking Hawkeye to the, the vet a bunch, and I've been, like I said, I've been, um, like, like y'all know, I've been, uh, dealing with a realtor a lot about, um, new houses, and I'm gonna be traveling there next, next week for that, and just a lot of stuff going on this type of year, this time of year. Looking, moving back to the Dallas Metroplex. Ooh, unbreakable formations, nice. This was this is looking like a good hand. So yep, thrill is definitely what I was expecting there. Now we get to formation plus tap a blocker. You can only tap one blocker, even though we have giant killer and law rune enforcer. I guess and it has to be a blocker CMC two or greater. Because of law rune. Yeah, that's where I'm from. The, the the Metroplex, I'm moving back home. Where I have friends, family, all that kind of stuff. Mm. Good turn. Good turn. Not good enough, though. This is like the perfect deck for for this event. A job I, I used to have, but I don't anymore. A new thing that I'm planning on doing tomorrow also. Um, I guess I'll be hyping it here for the first time on stream is let's see let's mulligan Ugh, what are these one landers Okay, sorry. Uh, tomorrow, after the stream... Um... Oh, thanks, Candice. Yeah, I guess that's that's a good command there. So tomorrow, you know, like we'll have normal stream, like always, 3 to 10 Eastern. And afterwards, I am planning on playing some Overcooked 2 on stream with Boot. The two of us doing that. It should be a lot of fun. Um, so we'll have extra stream time tomorrow, even. Um, I got the game capture card. came in the mail. So I'm going to try to hook that up tomorrow before, um, before stream tomorrow. And we should have some, some late night fun stream there. Ah, uh, thanks, Janini. Yep, 
Yep, looks like looks like we got a loss. Looks like we got a loss here. The mold of five, and then three for one cry of the carnarium. I know, right, Clue King? Could have played around that also by making a 1-1, but then I'm not playing around Cry of the Carnarium. Um, that was 26 minutes. Alright, I guess we could play two more. <laughs> that was only 26 minute video. <laughs> For seven games. Alright, we'll play nine with this with this deck. So that's what it took for us to lose. Two sweepers after a mold of five. So the very best draws for me here are turn one drawing a one drop and then turn two drawing a land. If we do those two things, we win, probably. Hey, mommy, happy new year. There's the one drop. Now we draw land. And then we play Executioner plus Luxon. Boom. Oh, they could have shocked. They could have prevented that. All right, so now I do that flame sweep. Cool. Kind of don't mind that flame sweep because we get to play a game still. You know, obviously, if they don't have flame sweep, it's just the game's over. The shock was really important though too, because you know, like if they don't shock that that creature, it's you know, then it's a two three, and then I would have just made it a three four. They're down to eleven. Hmm. 
<laughs> you know you're having a good day when you hope your opponent wipes the board. That's true. I think because, yeah, we at least get to play a game now. They probably don't have like a ton of answers to venerated Luxodon. I like getting these Narsets out of here though. I don't like that. I don't like, don't like them impulsing again. <clears throat> um. Is it Rowl Infinite yep. Combo? Odds of victory look good. What's not to love? I'm brilliant, handsome, and totally electrifying. Yeah, we probably shouldn't let them infinite combo. So now we're we're gonna be using formation defensively now. Hey, okay. Yeah. Of course, if they do find flame sweep, they do get to copy flame sweep though too. They would copy my formation even. Okay. See, that was a better game because they had that flame sweep right away and we didn't just win immediately. Got to play a better game. Alright, so this hand could definitely lose no... No formation, no Luxodon. But we get to go wide, but yeah, no no rally of wings either. We want to be drawing those cards right now. Okay. Ear scratches. So if they play, this is a cry of the Cranarium deck. That would be very bad for me. I guess I don't need to play Hanged Executioner into Cry of the Cranarium. My prowess is on I have just the trick for this. Draw spells. Fury will only lead you astray. Narset being on the battlefield doesn't matter for me. I don't have things that draw an extra card. 
So I don't need to do the, the one extra point of damage to Narset. Just doing two is sufficient. Keep them from minusing the Narsets again. If you wish to surrender now, I must put thoughtfulness before action. Certainly looks like the only the only option for them. Looks sounds nice because now not all of our creatures died to Ritual of Soot. And now we only have two creatures that died to Cry of the Granarium also. Gargoyle. So it needs four cards in hand to block. Talk about something I was not expecting. And obviously, the killing my giant killer hurts there because I was going to use the giant killer to tap it. Huh. It's like maybe they never had a sweeper. But if I would have just played out the hanged executioners earlier. Oh, I do love a good death. They can actually get some pretty good cards with this Command the Dread Horde. Ugh. And there was a sweeper. That Vantress Gargoyle played a huge part in this, actually. In that combination with Tyrant Scorn. Without the Tyrant Scorn, I would have just kept on tapping the Gargoyle and never traded my Luxodon. Hey, LB. Shouldn't have as many lands as them with my 19 lander. So that's where we are.
Need unbreakable formation. So they can activate Law Rune Enforcer, but they can't activate Giant Killer because they don't have white mana for Giant Killer. But Law Rune is colorless. Law Rune can tap the two executioners. This is the card I needed. I guess I just play an attack. Other option is activating Hanged Executioner. But I think we just do this. They get one free block with a cap net. <clears throat> and then other blocks are chumps. Um, I don't. Yeah, LB. I don't. I don't know if it's when it's better to to grind. Beginning or end of the season. So do they have the sweeper? Yes or no? My creatures didn't have trample, so like that block was was pretty poor. That block basically is just saying I have a sweeper, I guess. But still, even they could have just single blocked everything. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you definitely drop if you're not playing. It it really depends on how how many other people are playing and how high up you are as far as dropping goes. Yeah, because other people pass you. So it's, it's not a, a set. You drop a certain amount a day. There's one day. I dropped like 600 ranks in one day one time. At the very the last day of the season. With lots. Like the very first time they, they said that like the top thousand people get the invite and everybody was real excited about it and everybody was playing and I, I was 300 and something the night before and then I woke up the next morning and checked before and I was like nine nine something Do not have the sweeper. So there we go. Those last two games were, were both pretty long. <clears throat> we went from a 26 minute video to 43, so 17 minutes in just the last two games. But yeah, I think this deck is just absolutely awesome for this standard shakeup event. If you're somebody who just wants to, um, if you just want to finish the standard shakeup as fast as possible, this is this is the deck for you. There. Um, oh yeah, you're right. You're right with the blocks. They forgot about the indestructible. You're right. Um, but yeah, this this deck's really good. I mean, it's a good standard deck. Also, it's very fast and standard. And then when you just add in like a format with all of those really good cards that are banned. It just makes this even better. Our one loss, we mold the five, and then our opponent had multiple sweepers after we mold the five. We were still looking okay even after the first sweeper. But there we go. So that's mono white formation. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave the comments. Let me know what you think of the standard shakeup event and what are you playing in it and all that kind of stuff. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.